does a humanities moment perhaps uh, we're, we're, we're kind of bifurcating here in terms of and a, and a kind of generational bifurcation but does the humanities moment look different for you and I people of our generation and kind of background perhaps or which is somewhat similar than it does for somebody who's connected all the time or do they uh, have humanities moments uh, I, yeah I'm not sure they would define it in the same way that we would but they would maybe it's a moment of just sheer excitement, maybe it's you know something that happens at a concert, uh, or b being w with a large group of friends where there's a kind of realization that something is is happening. Um, could be at a party, uh, but that's not quite what we mean by a humanities moment. I mean, um, can I give a couple of examples? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, they're necessarily specialized and personal, of course, because they would have to be, but. Um, I was in Chicago with my younger son about three weeks ago, uh, where he's a student, graduate student at Northwestern, and we went to the Chicago Art Institute, which is a great museum. Um, and there was Edward Hopper's greatest painting, most famous painting, Nighthawks. Yes. And Nighthawks, if you remember, it's a, it's a diner late at night, um, and uh, you're looking at uh, uh, into the diner, which is lit and it's dark all around. It's not a realistic painting. It's highly stylized to produce a sense of isolation. And here's these four people inside um, this diner, and and one guy, and they all have hats. It's you know the 1930s or 40s. They all have, they're all very well dressed, um, except for the soda fountain guy. And it's ambivalent about whether they are about to speak to each other or they, have ne they will never speak to each other. And I think it's painted that way to make it a ambivalent. So I was there with my son, and we both had a kind of crystallized moment in which we were b both together with each other and enjoying this thing, but also isolated because we're just separate individuals. And we actually talked about this. It was the painting crystallized the, the, that ambivalence that's the, you know, and it is true.